I believe that art in all respects, uh, not just religious art, but art in general, in its many forms and genres, is a way that spirit communicates to spirit. And I think that that is a constant reminder uh, that there is a spiritual aspect beyond materialism. I knew that I wanted to be a playwright right after I failed my Juilliard acting audition. When I was in my early 20s, I got a play that I wasn't paid for but someone assigned me to do that uh, asked me to write a play about Noah and the Ark. So I did. I wrote that play. And um, I realized that I liked, I liked the form. I liked dialogue um, very much. And I, I liked the dialectical possibilities of dialogue. Teaching playwriting is a great joy to me. I've been teaching at the University of Utah since um, 2000. It's a very happy home for me. Uh, Salt Lake City is a place where a lot of new plays are done. And the University of Utah is very supportive of um, my work um, and uh, giving me time to write. Writing is hard for me. Writing requires 14 drafts for me. Um, the origin of uh, Virtue, uh, which was an MFA project at Penn State University, was 2009. The production was in 2017. It needed all those years for me. Virtue is a play about Hildegard, uh, an 11th century German mystic nun that uh, had a crisis in her life uh, when a young woman came and became a novitiate in the uh, Disenbodenberg, her monastery. Um, she became very, very close to this initiate. And so that play is about what happens when your deep faith, if you're a believer, if, you're, uh, if you believe in God, what happens if your deep faith comes into conflict with other deep feelings of yours? In this case, in the play, um, she falls very deeply in love with Richardus, and Richardus does with her. What leads in that case, right, is um, do, do the religious rules that you've grown up with and have a deep commitment to lead, or does your personal experience lead? And that's, that's the problem that that play tries to ask. Music plays a big role in my creative life in that uh, I'm not a musician in any way myself, but I listen to music all the time. So that's how it's important to me as, as a writer. Music is important because it goes beyond the words. Um, I can only take the words so far. Um, uh, and um, when, that's, when I've said all that I know how to say in the words, there's often something else that still needs to be said that I just don't have the words for. And that's when the music begins. So in Virtue, for example, when Hildegard and Richardus are, are together at the end of the play, um, and knowing that they're going to be parting, they sing. They sing some of her music. And it goes beyond anything I could write, because it's Hildegard's music. And also, I think there's a chance for spirit-to-spirit -spirit communication through that music. Uh, the play Virtue, and particularly its production, uh, tried to bring together two communities that particularly since I think the 2016 election uh, have become even more polarized, and that is the religious community. That is people who, for whom religion is very important, a very important part of their lives, a regular part of their lives, and uh, the LBGTQ community um, who often find themselves, they feel unwelcome in a religious setting, and understandably so. There's been hostility. Uh, on both sides of that. Um, the play tries to bring those two groups together and I was very proud that this production uh, was given a grant um, to support the gay community. That was, uh, that was a wonderful moment in this production. Um, on this night, they could come together in the audience for this play and both not only feel accepted for who they are, but feel that there might be something for the two of them to talk about that's positive and that brings hope to both of those communities.